Now, uh, what I was... I've never really talked much about Harry. Why? Keep him hidden. He might not have realised mm. that he's the royal. Mm. See, in the time of Charles I, he said that he ruled by divine right That's right. as king. Because God put him there. That's right. That's right. So we get to the point where we're at the end time. They know it. The world knows it. You've got to have a king that is a legitimate king mm. according to prophecy. Mm. And he's the only one. And specifically a king. Right, so <clears throat> you've got the prophecy of the king of kings, which he is of my family. Mm. So I say, all right. Move in. It's yours. Now, their problem is that uh, their war on terror depends on what is... We know the bullshit thing about 9-11. We know it's bullshit. We know how the Bay of uh, Pigs is bullshit. Mm. We know the Tonkin mm. is bullshit. We know Pearl Harbor is bullshit. Mm. We know the 100-day war in... Peking, Hong Kong, wherever it was. Bullshit. There's a boxer revolution. Bullshit. Mm. England's been behind a lot. Mm. Every single one of them. Mm. Okay, now. What does get people pissed off is there is an ultimate thing that can cause a never-ending war on terror and an absolute raising up of all the Western nations against the Arabs. One thing that can happen that an assassination mm. takes place of Harry in Afghanistan by the Taliban. Mm. That's what they're going to do. And England will be behind it. And you know why they won't be able to do it now? Because what? we've already crossed over, we're in the heavenly side. And you told Harry he was dead. But I'll make a guarantee. Um, if Harry is assassinated, mm. then you'll have to recognise me as Yahweh. Because I'm telling you now. This is called a Kundalini cul-de-sac in chess. It's a no-fuck moment. He's done again. If they kill him... Mm. Because he is a true line of kings that I am nominating mm. on his birthday as King of England. Mm. And I'm saying it before it happens, that mm. this is what's going to happen. Mm. And when it does happen, because they think, Fuck, well, let's kill him anyhow because we're in a panic. Right? They are recognising my prophecy has come true, therefore I am young. And I'm taking over. And I'll sit on the fucking throne if I have to. <laughs> so, it's a... Um, uh, it's a... It's a trap, intellectually, that there is no escape from. It's an absolute checkmate. And I said, in Canada, I will checkmate the world. I said that to CB... Yes, is it Canada Broadcasting System? Mm. They interviewed me, you know. <laughs> the two, but the woman rings up. She's from the CBS or CBC or whatever it was. Right across Canada, morning show. Asked me, you're the man's, said you're the real king. Yeah? And you're up against these powers, this young stuff here, the monarchy. Mm. How are you going to do it? And I said, blackmail. She hung up. <laughs> so we are across the Milky Way galaxy equator and this is the most important thing because in creation the perfect situation was Africa and uh, India and uh, all the dry areas of the earth today 
were uh, in a perpetual dew falling state. Because you had the two effects of the Coriolis of the Earth and the Coriolis of the Milky Way itself. And that's why we reached that perfect uh, point when, as we're moving northward, where that is uh, coming into play now. It's what I predicted last year, because I said we've already crossed the damn thing on the 11th of December 2011 because of fuckwits. I forgot to add in the days that they altered time. The Mayan colour's not referring to the time that they altered to, the Gregorian calendar. Talking to the Julian calendar, which is Mayan. So the date was 375 days out, making it the same, oddly, the same moment when the moon flipped upside down. No one's fucking talking about that either. But we've got movies of it. I always said if I had a movie camera with me at the cross, I wouldn't all the little this bullshit now. Right? So this is what they're planning to do. Kill Ari as an, the greatest terrorist event of all time. To kill a potential monarch. Right? Especially on the same day that Charles has William killed. Is that what he needs to do? The ultimate Talmud law is that you will be prepared to kill your own offspring to maintain your own position as the rightful king. Not William. They're arguing about William being king because he's the thousandth point of light. It's all out there. They're all insane. I think they can control miracles when they can't. We get the job done because we're just loving and no, it's just stupid to carry on like that. Well, this has to be the ultimate. I just gave you a message. At what moment did I stop speaking? Was the second hand. Minute hand reading. It's now seven forty three. Okay, Harry. Stiff up lips, son. You're doing quite well. You are British, you know. You are one of us. <laughs>